Many of you in the audience tonight are parents, and as parents, I'm certain you will never forget the sound of your child's first cry on the day that they were born. Ouch. Unless they never cried at all, because when they were born, they couldn't breathe. This is the reality faced by over 150 babies born every day with a birth defect called congenital diaphragmatic hernia, or CDH. These babies are born with a hole in their diaphragm, the muscle that divides the abdomen from the chest. This allows the abdominal organs out of the belly and into the chest where they crowd the baby's developing lungs during pregnancy so that when they are born, they struggle to breathe. Surgeons can easily fix the hole in the diaphragm, but there is no medication or procedure that can correct their abnormal lungs. The lungs of CDH babies are characterized by two things, reduced airway branching and a thickened layer of connective tissue. This means their lungs are too small and very stiff. If you've ever tried to blow up a balloon, you know that the thicker the balloon, the more difficult, difficult it is to inflate. Well, imagine that that balloon is your lung, and the breath you are using to blow it up is the first one you've ever tried to make. Of the 150 babies born every day, 50 will die from respiratory failure before they reach one year of age. CDH carries the highest mortality rate of any birth defect. My goal is to change that. Our lab is developing a way to help CDH babies grow bigger lungs before they're even born, and we're doing it with something called microRNA. MicroRNAs are tiny pieces of code within cells that are essential for proper lung development. Normally, genes act like light switches. They either turn on or off, but with microRNAs, these light switches become dimmer switches, mediating the effects of genes without changing the genetic code itself. We looked at microRNA expression throughout fetal lung development in both humans and an animal model. In early development, we found that microRNA expression was decreased in CDH lungs, while in late development, CDH babies had higher microRNA expression than their healthy peers. We thought, could microRNA be trying to help these babies grow bigger lungs, but their increased expression right before birth is just too little, too late? To see if this was true, we extracted CDH lungs from rodents early in development and grew them under a microscope. To half the samples, we added microRNA. The other half, we kept as control. What we saw was amazing. As they developed, the microRNA lungs looked exactly like normal lungs. We had rescued them. But is looking normal the same as acting normal? The next step of this test is to repeat this experiment in a live pregnancy and then test the babies when they are born to see if their lungs function the same as other healthy pups. Currently, babies with CDH are diagnosed early in pregnancy, but there is little we can do to change their fate. I believe that with microRNAs, we can give these babies the breath of hope they need for a fighting chance at life. Thank you.